What's up, y'all? We're going to evaluate the integral of 1 divided by 1 plus x squared from 0 to infinity. And it's going to be awesome. It's pretty sweet. But the trick is knowing that this is a trig substitution type problem. So x is going to equal tan theta. And then if we take the derivative dx d theta, which is the derivative of tan with respect to theta, equals secant squared. So secant squared is the derivative of tan theta. I mean, it just is. But if you want to know why it just is, I made a video showing this derivative step by step. So check that out if you want. It's like a minute long. Anyways, we got our substitution here, but we need to deal with the limits. So in the limit as x goes to 0, tan theta is going to go to 0. And in order for tan theta to go to 0, that means theta has to go to 0. So this is one limit for theta right here. Now for the other one, tan theta has to go to infinity. Now what about theta? Well, tan theta is sine over cos, right? And sine is 1 at pi over 2 cosine is 0 at pi over 2. So as theta approaches pi over 2, this goes to 1, this goes to 0. So this fraction becomes very, very large. It actually goes to infinity as theta goes to pi over 2. I hope that makes sense. Let me know if this isn't clear or not. Anyways, we'll substitute this into our limits right here. So these are our limits, and this is our substitution. We solve for dx. So dx is secant squared d theta. So we have that here. Now, the next trick is to know that we can invoke a common identity in the denominator. 1 plus tan squared theta equals secant squared theta. So if we plug that in, we get, I mean, check this out, secant squared theta over secant squared theta squared theta. We cancel them. We now have to integrate d theta. This is like the world's easiest integral because there's nothing to integrate. It's just 1. we got to integrate 1, which becomes theta from 0 to pi divided by 2. So this is pi over 2. And my friends, that's our integral. So the integral of 1 over 1 plus x squared is pi over 2. And we're done. Bob's your uncle. <laughs> right on, y'all. Hang in there. Integrals are not easy to learn. I had a very hard time learning integrals. But the more you do, the more practice you get at them, the better you'll get. You can survive. Hang in there. I'm with you every step of the way. Cheers.